Hi, my name is Chris and you're watching Font of Inspiration. Today we'll be talking about how you can use films to create one shots or maybe even campaigns for your RPG games. Now the thing is, sometimes you get stuck writing an adventure, whether it's a short one shot or maybe it's just another session in your ongoing campaign. Whatever the case may be, sometimes you just can't think of an adventure to continue your story with. Now what I've started doing when I'm stuck is to watch a film, uh, let's say a, an old DVD I have or just go to Netflix and pick something that looks good. Preferably something with a very clear and maybe even simple storyline. That way you can take that storyline, take the characters, take the setting, uh, whatever you feel like taking from the film and then make an adventure out of that. But how do you do it? Well, personally, I usually take a couple of ideas from two different films, maybe even more, maybe even three. Uh, you don't want to make it too convoluted, so sticking to two is usually good. Uh, you can use one, that's fine. You can take the entire plot of a single film, but it might be too easily identifiable. So let's say uh, you'd use the plot of Starship Troopers. Uh, you have soldiers landing on a planet that is infested with bug aliens. Uh, that might be too identifiable. Maybe people will straight away think of Starship Troopers and uh, that might break their immersion. Maybe. Maybe it won't. But what I like to do is to take a couple of different sources and mix them up just a little bit so it kind of hides the source material. So let's say uh, instead of, if we took Starship Troopers, instead of uh, using soldiers, let's say you have uh, a school of wizards. So taking Harry Potter's idea, for instance, uh, you have a class of wizards that are sent to a certain area infested by these horrible bugs that just slaughter everything. And you could also have a kind of survival horror bent to it there you already have something that's pretty new it might not be the best idea in the world but you have wizards fighting bugs in a desolate area uh, at least it's not something people can straight away point to and say that's starship troopers uh, so yeah you could take for instance the setting of one film the characters of another uh, maybe some kind of plot line from another you could steal a MacGuffin kind of reskin it a little bit um, I like to reskin things. I'm not saying that I just steal everything and kind of disguise it, but generally that's a big part of what we do when we write, whether it's fiction or D&D uh, &D adventures or, or other RPG adventures. We take things we're familiar with and then put a new spin on them. So why not make it films? Films are easily uh, accessible. Uh, they're not too long. You don't have to invest a lot of time. So you can just go to Netflix or whatever you use, uh, spend an hour and a half to two hours watching a film and then kind of jot down the main points, maybe the main characters, the personality types, uh, the main events in the film, something about the setting, anything you find interesting. So once you have something you like, just tweak it a little bit and you'll have something pretty new. Again, maybe I could use the Harry Potter school as, an, as a setting instead of the wizards in it. I could use the, the magical school and throw a slasher villain into it. Throw a bit of Friday the 13th into Hogwarts. And that would be a completely different thing again. Uh, even though it's just taking two pre-made films and smushing them together. So, uh, long story short, use films to help you write adventures. You already have the building blocks of an adventure in a film. So just kind of flavor it a bit and I think you'll uh, go a long way, especially when you're stuck writing. Okay, see you next time guys. Take care.